Cyprus is a beautiful island in the Mediterranean Sea. Its culture is more or less Greek, but it's not part of Greece. It's its own country and a member of the EU, and I've been here a lot and it's amazing. One thing I will mention is that it's right off the coast of Turkey, and various political issues far too complex for this video led to Turkey invading in 1974, and currently Turkey occupies northern Cyprus in an unrecognized fashion according to the EU. I bring this up because it's relevant to a point later in the video. But I've never been to the northern side, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the southern half. They speak Greek and have amazing delicious food that I can't get enough of but there's something else they supposedly have. Welcome to Ayanapa, the party capital of Cyprus. Gorgeous waters, but there's something more. Apparently, a legendary sea monster lives not too far from here. So today we're going to learn a little bit more about it. It lurks around Cape Greco, and sightings allegedly date back to Roman times. Hi guys, we are now officially at Cape Greco. This is where they say the sea monster lives, down in the waters below. And in a little while, we're going to get on a boat that's going to take us out to the sea caves, and we're going to go swimming there, so that's going to be fun. Maybe we'll see the monster, maybe not. But this is an amazing spot. Endless ocean, unlike the Loch Ness Monster, which is in a loch, in a lake. This is, uh, there are no boundaries to where this Ayanapa sea monster can go. So, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. Apparently, this sea monster is friendly. It's never been known to cause anybody any harm, but it has been known to drag away fishing nets. And a lot of times this has actually been compared to another sea monster, an ancient Greek mythological monster called the Scylla. And you can actually see this in the House of Dionysus, which is in Paphos, these preserved mosaics on these floors from I think the second century. Actually, I'm gonna cut to that now. The Scylla has the torso of a woman with serpent limbs and dog heads coming out of its midriff area. However, other descriptions of the Ayanapa sea monster, well, people describe it as looking pretty much like you'd describe any sea serpent. Crocodile-like. Teeth like a saw. We just spent about 20 minutes trying to take the most perfect photograph, and I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. Okay, now we have to hurry to catch the boat. Catch you on the flippity flip. We are now on the boat, Aphrodite Cruises. This boat is called Aphrodite One, and we are going to see Cape Greco, where this sea creature allegedly lives. And in the meantime, we're going to be passing a place called Famagusta. Let me go into the darkness to say this part. It's a ghost town. It just got brighter. During the war of 1974, a lot of bombs were being dropped, so the Turkish people living in that area fled. So Famagusta is actually north of the Green Line. So since that time, it has been uninhabited. The UN now controls that territory, so they haven't let anyone move back in. So there are a lot of abandoned hotels because that's a very touristy area. So hopefully we're going to be able to see it from the boat. They knew from Augusta actually. It was the main resort of Cyprus. At the right side of the town, next to the last hotel, you can see some ships there. And that's the port area of the old city of Augusta. So there used to be 45,000 people living there, and now there is no one. It's all abandoned. We can't get any closer. We've arrived at the Blue Lagoon 
near Cape Greco and it's time to go swimming. Yeah. yeah. I never do this. I always start putting my toes in, then I wade in a little bit, and then I go up to here, then here, then here. And now I'm defying my own rules. Next trip to Cyprus, when you come to swim in the gorgeous beaches of Ayanapa, keep your eyes peeled. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and see you guys next time.